starting at verse 18 through 24. Lord put this particular book on my heart by his spirit. He led me to this chapter. Book of Acts, fourth chapter. Starting with verse 18. Look with it now. Look with it. Through 24. Mm -hmm. Do you know Jesus? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You have it, say amen. Amen. Fourth chapter. Book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Fourth chapter. 18. Starting with 18. 18. 18 verse. Mm -hmm. Fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. Starting with verse 18. Do 24. Amen. You have it. Say amen. Amen. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Mm. 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 Talking about Peter and John here. Yes. 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 But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more, more than unto God. Mm -hmm. Judge ye. You be the judge. Mm -hmm. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen mm -hmm. and heard. And heard. Yes. Yes. So when they had further threatened them, mm -hmm. they let them go, mm -hmm. finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorify God, God for that which was done. Mm -hmm. Amen. For the man was above 40 years old mm -hmm. of whom this miracle of healing was shown. Yes, yes. And being let, go, being let go, they went to their own country and reported all that the chief priest and the elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God one with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, yes, yes. which has made heaven and earth and the sea mm -hmm. and all that is in them is. Mm. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, God. Our Father, mm -hmm. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. my Lord and my Savior. Lord, we thank you for who you are in the times that we're living in. Yes, yes, Lord. We don't understand a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But Lord, we realize and we know that you're sovereign. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, everything is in your hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're in control. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even the darkness that we see, you the evil that we yes. see. You control it, Lord. Yes. Lord, you control it. Lord, we realize that you have a plan, mm -hmm. and that plan has been set forth. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Lord, it's been prophesied by your prophets. Mm -hmm. Amen. It has been fulfilled, some here and some there, and some coming to be fulfilled. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, as we come, we come asking for forgiveness of sin. Forgive us, Lord. Yes, Lord. You said if we confess our sins, Lord, you're faithful. Thank you, Lord. You're just yes, to you. forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, have your way in this place. Let your anointing flow. Let your spirit have his way. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We're going to speak on these words. Power in the name of Jesus. There's power. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Brother Shaw played that song, just played that song, Do You Know Jesus? Mm -hmm. Amen. There's power. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name. And Lord, put this particular book on my heart because, you know, you can speak and talk about any and everything, mm -hmm. but when you mention the name of Jesus. All right. You can mention Buddha. Mm -hmm. You can mention Muhammad. Confucius. Yes. Confucius. Oh, yes. Yes. But when you name the name of Jesus, yes. the songwriter said, what can wash away my sins? Nothing, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. 
What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. It's something about the name of Jesus. You know, when I when I the Lord led me with his Holy Spirit to this particular book, it I thought about I was listening to the chip pastor give us back a month ago here. The speaker of the house, Mike Johnson, invited a pastor to pray before the Congress and the representatives there. And the rules of his prayer, he couldn't mention father. And he couldn't mention the name of Jesus. Now you being a born again, not compromising man of God, preacher of God. And you read some rules like this, you hear some rules like this, Herbert. Like the disciples said, I'd rather obey God than man. Right. Oh, yes. And he commenced to pray. Yeah, and he said, Father. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in the name of Jesus. And I mean, I ain't going to get into all his prayer, but he, he commenced to let them know. Uh-huh. I got a father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do the bow. Do the bow. And I got a God that I believe in, and his name is Jesus. Oh, and about 26 of them, probably more than that, they got got mad. But that's the times we're living in. Those are the times we're living in. This woke society, like Tony said all the time, the world going to be the world. But like Pastor said, you you stick it in my face, then I'm going to let you know where I stand. And I'm going to let you know who got me standing where I'm standing. And that name is Jesus. And let me make it plain. Jesus of the Bible. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's fully God and he's fully man. And ain't nothing you can tell me to change my mind. Because I know it. I believe it. It's here. It's planted here. In my heart. Because I know what he done for me. I'm, I got to move on. I, I, I got, I got to move on. We know what he does. Jesus, mm-hmm. Jesus finished his work. Yeah, his work. Yeah. In this particular chapter, mm-hmm. like I said, he has been ascended, crucified. Okay. And he told the disciples, "You just, you stay put, Miss Pat, right. until you receive power. power. That's right. Don't move. Don't move. You, you, you stay there." You go and you stay there. Mm-hmm. And don't you move till you receive power. Oh, Come on out. That's what and that's what they did. That's, right. that's what they did. Power. And as Jesus finished his work, yes. 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 he completed his task. That's right. his part. His part of the work. And see, the, the book of Acts is a continuation yes. Yes. of the believer's work mm-hmm. to continue Jesus' ministry. That's right. That's right. And as Jesus finished his work, mm-hmm. he said, I'm going to leave you a comforter. That's right. Amen. I'm going to leave you some help. help in your work. Yes, sir. And the help going to come. The help going to be that agent. That help going to be that executive yes, sir. that takes place after Jesus has gone. Yes, sir. See, that's going to be your help. Yes. That's going to be the agent that's going to help you, going to lead you and guide you all in all truth. Amen. That's going to be the executive. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the help, Lord. Let him lead you. Now, don't you get out there on your own, on, within your own self, about how smart you think you are, how much Bible knowledge you may have. Because the biggest fool can be the biggest fool thinking he know it all and don't know nothing. But if you led by the Holy Spirit, his help, you'll be okay. I feel you, Ernest. I feel you, my brother. I went through that about 20 years ago. Train a guy on a job. He, he come out of Georgia. I trained him. I was the next man in line. He was my boss. I feel you, Ernest. But you, you had a praying wife there. Said, keep on working. Keep on working. He'll work it out. We don't understand sometimes. It don't look right. It don't feel right. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts, said the Lord. When you grab hold of that, 
Oh, you can go through anything. Yes, sir. You'd be like Paul. I've learned Whatever's whatsoever state of me. I'm content. Oh, yeah. Wait on God. Wait on him. I went through it a second time, Ernest. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. This job I'm at now, this security job. I left Alcatraz up there. Birmingham racetrack. I call it Alcatraz. I, the Lord had me at Alcatraz, Pauline, for a whole year. But I had to stay there for other folks. But then when he moved me after that year came, I took this job yeah. with a cut in pay. That's right. And I said, hey, I'm making this here. That's right. And he said, yeah, I know, Milton. I know, Milton. But, uh, you know, they, 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 they paying this, they paying that. You know, just, just hang in there. Uh, you know, I talked to the folks. I said, well, give me, give me 30 days. If they like what they see, they like my work ethic, then uh, give me the raise. Give me what I deserve. 30 days came. 60 days came, 90 days came, but I didn't open my mouth. I didn't say a word, Rose. And then the district manager came and he said, well, Milton, I forgot. Sound like the butler in the baker, though, Rose. I forgot you was in prison. I said, that's all right. I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't called him or said nothing. But he talked to the man. The man put me up to, well, I was supposed to be. That's right. With everybody else. Everybody, right, everybody. And then the next year came, Herbert, they came back, the, the regional managers came. Mm -hmm. Did an interview with folks. I'm going to move on, move on. I just right, want to get this out. Right, I, 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 I feel you, Ernest. I feel right, you. Right, right. The regional manager came. And they said, how's everything? They said, we want to give them a raise. And so no, we ain't giving them no raise. I said, but we'll give Milton a raise. <laughs> Another raise. Didn't ask for it. That's right. But God. But God. Amen. You hold your peace, brother. Yes, sir. You hold your peace. Praise God. Verse 18, Acts 4th chapter. And they called them, Peter and John, and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Wow. Now, what happened here? What happened? You, you, you read some of your scholars have read the chapter before, third chapter. Yeah. It deal with the impotent man That's right. That's right. and how he was at the gate of beautiful mm -hmm. and he was asking for alms. Yeah. And Peter and John came and told him, said, silver and gold, I have none. But what such I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's what I have. No, I don't have a lot of money. I'm not. My bank account ain't full. Herb, but what I have. Jesus Amen. better than money. I know the name of Jesus. I can call on the name of Jesus anytime, any situation. I know that's a name above names. He'll come and see about me. Yes, sir. Silver and gold I have none. But what such I have, I'll give to you, man. You receive it. You receive it. Now let's go right, right back over. Now same, same chapter. Look at verse 7. Okay, go back to 7. seven fourth chapter, verse 7. Okay. It said, now, when they had set them in the midst, mm -hmm. they asked, by what power, what power? What or by what name have you done this thing? Mm -hmm. The impotent man, he's healed. He's, healed he's walking. Right. He's not sitting. He's not crippled. Right. He's walking. He's He's walking. Now, the, the court here, now, they, they had to the trial. That's right. Peter and John is at trial. Put yourself here in, in their situation. Right. They had to the trial. Uh -huh. And they, they got to testify. Yes, sir. They asking the question. Yes, These Sanhedrin, this council of Jewish sect here, yes. so-called religious leaders and all. Yes, that's right. Sometimes 23, 7 of them, however many they have. Yeah, they, they, they asking them, mm -hmm. said, by what power? By what power yes. And by what name have you done, have you done this? Lord, no. You heal this man. Yes. We, we know he healed. Yes. He's standing right here next side you. Forty-year-old man. We see him every day. He had to gate a beautiful begging for arms. We see him every day. Right. What 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 you do to him? And who, who what, 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 what by what name? Right. What what what? what uh, tell us. That's right. That's right. Testify, man. Yes, right. What what's your testimony? 
Herbert, how did, how did, how did he do you? How, how, what happened, Herbert? That's right. All of us got tested. It was Jesus. Amen. It was Jesus. That's right. That's right. Nothing but Jesus. Amen. I, I, I think about the blind man. Yeah. When, when they, they asked him, they said, somebody said, Jesus coming. Uh-huh. And the Bible said he hollered. Yes, sir. Jesus. Right. Sometimes you got to shout it. Yes, sir. Jesus. He, he, he meant something when he said it. Yes, sir. Jesus, he said, yes. that son of David, yes. have, have mercy on me. Yes. At some point in your life, you got to call on the oh, name yes. of Jesus. Yes. And you got to ask him for his mercy. Yes, sir. He given it to you anyway, yes. but every now and then you need a little extra. Yes. You need a little extra yes. for the situation you're in, right. the troubles you're going through. Right. Oh, we've been now done that. What, 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 what power, man? What name? Hey, you love this, Verse 8. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. said unto them, You rulers of the people and the elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to this impotent man, uh-huh. by what means he's made whole, yes, be it known unto you all. I'm going to tell all of you. Uh-huh. Right. And to all the people of Israel. That by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him do this man stand here before you whole. This man stand before you whole. Peter, Peter boldly. Peter Peter testifying, y'all. Can't you? I'm like, ain't no something. I can visualize it. Peter in the court. And they call, tell us, tell us, man, what power. What name yes, sir. that y'all done this? Come on, right. Amen. And they, I mean, they, they couldn't deny it. Right. They know a miracle had been done. Right. They can't deny it. Right. The impotent man healed. That's right. We seen this man. Somebody in your life. Yes. You seen them sick, sick. Sin sick, Herbert. Yes, Physically sick. Yes. And you tell them about somebody named Jesus. Right. By his stripes, I'm healed. Yes. And you tell them what he can do. Look at me. Look on us. What he done. What he done to me. You know me when I was a young teenager. Thought I knew it all. Thought I had it going on. A fool like anybody else. But Jesus. Somebody told me about a man named Jesus. That can save my soul. Peter now, Peter, now the boldness of Peter, when I read this here, it it, it made me think about it in in Matthew 26 chapter, you can jot it down, Matthew 26 chapter, I think it's about 69th verse through 75, where Peter denied Jesus. Uh He was in the palace, and the danger comes up to him, said, you was with him, you one of them. them. I wasn't with you, I don't know the man, called him again, yeah, you talk like him, yeah. Yeah. You, you was with Jesus. You was with Jesus. Oh, man. Didn't he go to cussing? <laughs> Sounded like a sailor. That's right. That's right. But, but, but what I'm getting at, uh-huh. the Peter back then yes, Lord. didn't have the Holy Ghost with him, man. He didn't have that power. He didn't have the Holy Spirit. Herbert. But now the Bible said, Jesus told him, said, you go and you wait until you be endowed with power. Now he got that power right. that he can stand up boldly yes, and say it was Jesus, yes, Jesus of Nazareth. Right. That's why this man standing next to me made whole. Oh, oh he got power now. Yes, now the old Peter, he, he tucked tail and run, oh, yes. denied him, cursed and said, I don't, I, I don't know the man. Yes, That's the old Peter because he didn't have that power. He didn't have that Holy Ghost power. But now he got it. Then he's standing up testifying. I wonder, I wonder why he didn't give John a chance to talk. You know what him said that about John spoke up? Peter. Peter spoke up. Man named Jesus. Yes, sir. That's right. Good God Almighty. Give him the praise. Give him the praise now. Good God Almighty. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Go to, go to John's, John's, John, Gospel of John, 14th chapter. John 14. John 14 chapter. Look at it now. Look with it now. Gospel of John 14 chapter. Mm-hmm. Look at verse 12 through 17. Okay. Gospel according to John. Verse 12. Looking at verse 12. 
through 17. Amen. You have it, say amen. amen. And it reads, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, in the name of Jesus, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither know him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. That's that power, y'all. That's that power. He's going to be with you and in you. He'll give you the words to say. That's why Peter was so bold. See, that's the problem we have today. We, we don't have enough bold, bold Christians. Soldiers, yes. And I, I guess because they don't have the Holy Spirit. It makes a difference. When you got the power. You ain't got no power. You just got a form of godliness. Because you done denied the power. No wonder we ain't got enough folks speaking up. When they hang a rainbow flag at the White House. When they try to tell you, you can't. Rosa, you ain't no mother no more. You just a she. Well, no, you ain't even a she. You whatever they want to call. Not, not here. Not here. Not here. My wife going to be a woman. She going to be a mother. I'm going to be a husband. A father. A man. And ain't nothing this government can tell me can change that. And will not change it. Nothing. No, sir. No, sir. Nothing. No, sir. Thank you, Lord. We, yes, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Mm, back to Acts 4th chapter. Back to Acts now. Looking at verse 11 here. Okay. Acts 4th chapter. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Back to verse 11. Yes, he said, now this is the stone, stone which was set at naught of the builders, builders. you builders, right. which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. No other name. No other name. Not Buddha. Not Muhammad. Not sister. Not any of them idol gods. Those that have died and they still dead. They bones are still there. See, this country, let me, let me tell you something. I'm going to move on. This country won't be repented or saved by Trump, not Biden. But it won't be until the people repent, this nation repent as a whole and call on the name of Jesus. The name that they don't want to hear. They don't want you to speak. The Bible said devils tremble. At the name of Jesus. They don't tremble at Buddha. They don't tremble at Mahana. But at the name of Jesus. The Bible said that the, the demon said, Jesus, have you come to taught me before time? They know who he is. Do you know who he is? Can you call on him? Can you depend on him? That's the name. I mean, just a shout, Jesus. Like Brother Shaw said when he turned that big truck. Jesus. He wasn't calling on boss, no, no. Michelle. He just, Jesus, thank you. Thank you. You know who to call. If you don't, I'm telling you who to call. The name of Jesus. A name above names. Something about the name of Jesus. Go to, go to Matthew's gospel, first chapter. Matthew's gospel. Matthew's gospel, the first chapter. Matthew 1, the first chapter. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Looking at verses 18 through 21. Okay. Matthew's gospel, first chapter. Oh, look with it now. Looking at verse 18 through 21. Mm -hmm. You have it, say amen. amen. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. 
when as the mother Mary was expelled to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth the son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin, calling on the name of Jesus. Jesus is the name that saved me from my sins. Save me, he saved you, he saved anybody else we can have contact with. That's why we got to speak it. We got to tell them. That I know a man. I, the woman at the well said he told me everything. Everything I did. It's got to be the Christ. He knows what's in a man. He knows the heart of man. The Bible said they, they, they talked about the, the Sadducees are the scribes. One of them they said now no man can forgive sin but God. That's what they said. Jesus was forgiven sin. So tell me now what you say again. No man can forgive sin but God. He was fully God. And he was fully man. He forgave sins. He forgave me of my sins. That's why I call on the name of Jesus. The one that came and died for me, for my sins. My God. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Doubting Thomas, he didn't believe. Until he saw him for himself. Right. See, like Pastor said this, this morning, yes, Lord. he want to be here every time. Mm -hmm. You don't know when the Lord going to oh. come and just rain his spirit down in this place. Thomas missed out, he but he had a second chance. Oh, yeah. Thomas said, I won't believe until, until I put my hands in the side. Jesus came through the door, the Bible said. Away, yeah, he walked through the wall. He didn't take the door. No, no. And the Bible said he sat down, Herbert, and he had a fish sandwich with him. Yes, what you say? He had a fish sandwich with him. In a glorified yes, sir. And he told Tom, come here, Thomas. Come here. Yes, Lord. Yeah, because you hadn't seen, you don't believe. But blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. And yet believe. Yes, Lord. Thomas said, Lord and my God. My God. You're not only my Lord. You my God. And his name is Jesus. Yes, Talking about Jesus. Amen. The name above name. Glory Ooh, let, me, let me move on. Let me move on. Name above name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Ooh, Lord. That's good. That's good. Matthew. Go to Matthew 21st chapter. 21, Matthew, 21. Matthew 21st chapter. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to move on, Pastor. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move on, Pastor. Matthew 21st chapter. Looking at verse 23. Through 27. Uh -huh. Matthew 21st chapter. Yeah. Verse 23 uh -huh. through 27. Yeah. You have it, say amen. amen. And when he was coming to the temple, uh -huh. the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him, yeah. and he was teaching and said, uh -huh. By what authority do thou these things? And he gave thee this authority. Who gave you this authority? Talking about Jesus now. Yeah, who gave it to you? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing. Oh boy. What if you tell me? And I, and likewise, will tell you by what authority I do these things. Question, the baptism of John. Oh, Which was it? Okay. From heaven or men? All right. And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, mm -hmm. he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? Okay. If he was from heaven. Right, right. But if we say of men... We fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. <clears throat> and they answered Jesus and said, We cannot tell. We cannot tell unto thee. And neither will I tell you what authority I do these things. Jesus ain't gonna tell you nothing either. You can't tell me. I'll tell you nothing either. 
Back at you. Back at you. Playing politics. Back to Acts fourth chapter. Back to now. Fourth chapter. Go back there with it. Thresh it out, brother. Thresh it out. And we're picking it back up here. Okay. Like I said, eleven again. And he said, this is a stone which the, was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Right. Neither is there salvation in any other, then there is none other name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. No, no, no. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them. That they had been with Jesus. And beholding the men. Which was healed. Standing with them. They couldn't say nothing about it. But when they had commanded them. To go aside out. Of the council. They conferred among themselves. Saying what shall we do to these men. For that indeed a notable miracle has been done. By them is manifested to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. But it appeared, it, but as it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. Let's threaten them now. Don't, 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 don't talk no more about this man. Don't, don't mention this name. Don't mention this name no more. Now we're going to let you go. Now, right, right. They, they wanted to try to find some kind of way of finding them guilty. Right. See, because at that time, you know, you had familiar spirits, you had wizards. Oh, yeah. And so in Leviticus, I think it's 20 and 27, you can write it down. Mm -hmm. They say, if any man or woman be a, be a familiar spirit or a wizard, right. you stone them to death. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You stone them. So they was trying to find some kind of way so to take them out. Legally. Yeah, legally. But they couldn't. They couldn't. Didn't have nothing on them. So they had to let them go. Sound like my Lord and my Savior. He didn't do nothing. Innocent. Innocent. Didn't do nothing. They couldn't find nothing on him. They tried to trap him all kind of ways, all kind of sins. And every time. That, that, you know, that, that's kind of foolish. To try to Trick somebody, Herbert. Trap somebody that know everything about you. He know what you're thinking. He know your thoughts. And you're trying to you're trying to trap you're trying to trap God. That that know everything about you. That that, that is something. That, that's something. Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Go to Luke 24, 47. Gospel of Luke, Luke 24, 24 Take your time. You and 47. Amen. Luke 24th chapter, mm -hmm. verse 47. 47. Mm -hmm. Let's just pick up 46 with it too. Good. That's good. Luke 24th chapter, we'll starting with 46. Okay. Good. And said unto them, mm -hmm. thus it is written, it's Jesus speaking, That's right. and thus it behooves Christ, Christ to yes. suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Mm, repentance. And ye are witnesses of these. And behold, I send the promise of my Father unto you, upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endowed with power from on high. From on high. That's right. From on high. Amen. That's right. Get your equipment first. Now. Get your equipment. I don't care how mm -hmm. knowledgeable you are mm -hmm. of the word of God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. How many degrees you may have. Don't make no difference. Don't make no difference. Yes. Unless you got this power. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost power. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Come on, you're not equipped. Amen. Okay. You're going to get whooped. Whooped out of your clothes. Amen. Hurt. Amen. Beat down. Amen. 
And then you want to call on the Lord. Lord, why, you didn't have Lord? Yeah. why they did me like that? Yeah. Right. I'm out here in, in your name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you, you weren't led. Right. You weren't led by his spirit. Right. Makes a difference. Makes a difference. John's gospel, 20th chapter. John 20? 20 and 31. John's gospel, 20, 20th chapter, verse 31. 31. Chapter 20, 31. You have it, say amen. Amen. We'll just pick up 32. And many other signs did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. Don't you say, okay. 20. 20. Hold on, let's see now. 20 and 31. 20 and 30. 20 and 31. Yeah, 30 and 31. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, 30 and 31. Yeah, Gospel of John, 20th chapter. Yeah, Gospel of John, 20th chapter, 30 and 31. All right, we good? Good. Y'all paying attention. I thought I could slip one by you. Y'all, y- y'all woke then. Amen. Okay? Amen. All right? And many other signs. Many other signs. Truly did Jesus do in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. That's right. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus right. is the Christ, right. the Son of God, Please. and that believing you might have life through, through his name. Please. Through his name. Y'all, y'all got to catch up now. Y'all got to catch up now. Okay? In his name. Not Buddha name. Not Muhammad name. But in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Acts 3.16. Just flip back over. Acts. Book of Acts. Third chapter. 3.16. Book of Acts. Third chapter. In verse 16. You have it say amen. amen. And his name, his name, through faith, in his name, in his name mm. has made this man strong, mm. who you see and know. Yeah. You've seen him every day. You know him. Right. Yea, the faith, which is by him, given has you. given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Oh, you're a yeah. Y'all witness, you've seen him. You seen him. Right. Everybody that knew me mm-hmm. when I was a young teenager. My devilishment, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. what I did with my cousins, they know it. Yeah, we, we my know classmates, it. That's right. they knew mm-hmm. the old milk, the old, the old milk. That's right. Thank you, Lord. So when the Lord saved me, oh, they, they watching you now. Mm-hmm. They, they, they know your track record back then, Miss Pat. Yeah, they know. But look at me now. Oh, Thank you, Lord. We don't go the same places we used to go. That's right. don't talk the same. We don't talk the same. That's right. We don't walk the same. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Because of Jesus. Yeah. All because. All because. The name above name. Yes, All because. I know a man. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I know a man. Yes, sir. And his name Jesus. Yeah. I call on him every day. Right. Every night, Rose. Every morning, her. Yes, All through the day, Miss Pat. All through the day. When I see stuff happen, I see accidents on the highway, Rose. I, I, I don't call 911. Uh-uh. I mean, in, in certain cases now, you know, I mean, I got to get that straight now. But I call Jesus. I mean, 911 could be there already, Herbert. But I call Jesus. I call the real doctor, Pat. I call 111, baby. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. If the foundation be destroyed, where do the righteous go, Herbert? The foundation has been t- tearing down. Tearing down. Prayer out of school. I mean, this and that don't want you to say the name of Jesus. They don't they want they want to brainwash you 
uh, don't want you to say a woman is a woman. A man is a man. No, 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 You know, you know that's crazy. And they call us crazy, Rose. They call us crazy. Because we believe in Jesus, the resurrected Christ. They call us crazy. But they, they, they want us to accept all this crazy stuff. You know, a, a, a young man want, want to think he's a, a, a girl, lady. He want to run against them in sports and swimming. And they think we crazy. They, they want to continue to kill, kill babies, saying it ain't a baby. And you know, that's nothing new under the sun. They, they was killing babies back in, in Moses' days. Yeah, I, I mean, killing babies back then. The only thing then, they was, they was out of the womb. Now they're killing them in the womb. They ain't even giving them a chance to come out of the womb. I mean, think about that, though. Nothing new under the sun. But we got to call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy. Jesus is the door. He's the light. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. Man ain't done this for me, Herbert. It was Jesus. He delivered me. He set me free. He saved me. He don't owe me nothing else. I owe him everything. That's why I have to call on his name. That name ought to stay in your vocabulary. 24-7, Pastor. Even to our, our little grandkids. When you're talking to them. Them little babies back there, Tamika. Just Jesus. And they said, what's wrong, mama? You said, Jesus, everything's all right. Because I know Jesus. And as they get older, they, 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 they say, mama, dad, how, how did you make it? How did you get over? How did, how did you hang in there? Oh, praise his name. Praise his name. That's good. That's good, Bill. When we think we deserve this and that, we don't deserve nothing but death. It's by God's grace. God grace alone. Through Jesus Christ alone. Through faith alone. That we're able to continue and go and do like we do. And they accuse Peter and John here of, of this doctrine. This doctrine y'all preaching, man, y'all calling. Y'all done turned the world upside down. With this doctrine. Yes, sir. Everybody. First Timothy 3.16. Uh -huh. First Timothy. Timothy 3.16. This, doc this doctrine. What doctrine? 316. 316. What, what is this doctrine? What is this doctrine? There it is. That's it right there. First Peter. Amen. 316. Mm -hmm. You have it, say amen. amen. And without controversy, uh -huh. great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. God, Jesus. God was manifested in the flesh. He took on a human body. What you say? How can he do that? He's God. He can do what he want to do. God manifested. He was manifested in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. The Bible said, John baptized. Yeah. And when? And when he, he came up out of the water, Herbert, the Bible said, a dove, All right. a dove, the spirit landed on him. And he heard a voice from heaven say, This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. I'm well pleased with him, with Jesus, not Muhammad. Not Buddha, none of them, but I'm well pleased in Jesus. 
He said, in the spirit, he was justified in the spirit, uh-huh. seen, seen of angels, angels preached on mm-hmm. unto the Gentiles, yes. believed, believed on in the world, and received up the glory. Right. Received up the glory. Back to glory. <laughs> that's good. I said, so you can go to the tomb, oh, and he ain't there. Right. He said, why seek the living among the dead? Right. He ain't there. Right. All the rest of them bones there. Right. You go dig them up, they there. But you go to that tomb. Uh-huh. That one tomb. They, they gonna say it stole the body. They stole the body. No, no, <laughs> you said what you want to say. <laughs> we know. We read the book. We read the book. He ain't there no more. He's resurrected. Because he resurrected. You can resurrect one day. When this old body leave here one day, this old body. I, I used to hear mama say that. I didn't want to hear it, but I used to hear her say that. She said, I'm going to die one day, Mill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We will. It'll be terrible. She said it. it be <sighs> we got to go that way one day. Yeah. One day, we're going to leave him. Gonna leave you, I thank God. Thank you, I thank God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Foundation. I thank God for that foundation, Pastor. Yeah. Thank yeah, I, I get tear at it sometimes. It's all right. It's all right. Thank God. I thank him. I thank him. I thank him for the foundation. Yes, Lord. I thank him for him saving me. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you. Let me go on. Last, last scripture. Last scripture. Acts fifth chapter. Last scripture. Fifth chapter. Oh, verse twenty-seven. 27 through 32. Fifth chapter. Thank you, Lord. You have it, say amen. Amen. Verse 27 through 35. And it reads And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. They got them again because they wouldn't stop preaching and teaching the name of Jesus. So they got them again. They done brought them back again. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council and the high priest and asked them, saying, did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intent to bring this man's blood upon us. Here go Peter again. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Him has God exalted with his right hand to be the prince and the savior for the giving of repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey him. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Then stood there up one of them, the counsel of the Pharisees, a Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, and had a reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. It's something how the Lord got folks to speak up for you. Standing in the gap. Now they they ready to take them out now. They already done proved they innocent. You ain't got nothing on them. But you ready to take them out. Just hate the name of Jesus. Amen. Still today. And now I say unto you. Refrain from these men. Hmm. And let them alone. For if this counsel or not, this work be of men, it will come to know. It ain't going to come to pass. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. At least happy you be found even to fight against God. That's what our government doing now. They fighting against God. And you're fighting a losing cause. And to him, they gave agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beat them, 
they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Close the book, man. Jesus. The only one that was ever a prophet, a priest, and a king. He held all three offices. My Lord and my Savior. There's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor, take it over. Amen. Come on, give him a hand.